might just consider this one a failure, guys. I'm at 35 minutes, and I have no idea how to continue going about doing this. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam, and today we're going to be doing another Too Tall Toby practice model video. It's for his most recent model, uh, uploaded February 19th, 2024, the model titled 240213 Brace Plate. So if you haven't done that model for yourself yet, please pause this video, go back and try it for yourself, and then come back here to see how I do. I have not done this model before. Um, unlike last time though, I'm going to go ahead and pause his video in the background and I'm going to try to do this more um, tournament style. If you don't know what that means, I'm going to try to do it like he does for his tournament live streams. I'm going to instead grab a screen capture of the model and do it that way rather than relying on his timer in the video. And the reason I'm doing that is one, because I'm recording this and also looking at the thumbnail. I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to be able to make this one because there's one part I'm worried about. Also, because there's a part I'm worried about, I am not going to guarantee that I'm going to get this right first try. In fact, I'm probably going to get it wrong. I'm going to have to experiment with different ways of getting around this. So there are going to be cuts and things in this video. And for a timer, I am instead going to be using my phone. Shit. You're just going to have to trust me that I didn't stop and start the timer. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what we got here. 240213 brace plate. Let's, um, okay. Snipping tool. No. Boink. Boink. And I'm actually going to cover up my stream playback, so hopefully I don't screw that up. Okay, this is IPS Plain Carbon Steel. I feel like I've... Have I done this model before? I feel like I've done this model before. I feel like I've done this before and I had issues. Huh. I'm wondering if, um... Maybe this is one of the practice models. Yeah, I think this is one of the models that are on the website. I might have had trouble with this one already. But we're gonna do what we can. Okay. Uh, line. Uh, center ourselves to the plate. Let's, um, make a vertical line. Let's do a midpoint constraint. That. Okay. And then that width. Jesus, come on. That width. Hello, barking dog. That width is 2.375. Oh, man. Okay. And then... I don't know what all those decimal places are for. And then we are... Coming out with a line that's like out like that and then down like that. And then whole thing doesn't really have a length of the whole thing, but there is a length to this to the circle here. I need to like hang on. We're going to do a center arc like that. Oops. Center arc like that. And then a line that we're going to make uh, vertical. Make sure that is. Okay, cool. That is. And then we're going to coincident them and tangent that. And or is, that is one thing that kind of bothers me with the Libre is how it selects the previous thing, regardless of whether you wanted it selected or not. Um, I end up continually having to, um, back out of tools and things. Um, we have five, uh, five inches there. And then, um, that's 2.375 to each of them. So two... 0.375 over 2 is our width there. And then what else do we need? Oh. There. Cool. And then if I view planes, I can take all of... Oops. Actually, I'm not done yet. Get rid of the planes. I want to circle here, um, which is... What is that? 0.5. Okay. Now I want to select... Oopsie. Uh, tilde. There we go. Select all of that and that. And view planes and mirror 
along that. There we go. Plain to normal again. Anything else I need on this? I don't think so. We're going to extrude it by 0.25. Okay. Now, this is such a weird, like, this is such a weird model. It's like that's angled as well. That bit is 0 0.75, 0 0.875. I think that means the corner there. I think I need to make that diagonal bit next. Sorry, I'm, this is going to take me ages because I don't know what I'm doing. I think I need to make the diagonal bit next, but I don't quite know. My first instinct is to do it as a loft, right? So, as a loft, I need to, I need to make a new plane to do that, but I don't, should I do it as a new plane? Well, that's like a really weird, this model is almost got too much going on for me. Let's just try sketching. Um, let's do the line tool on that plane. The, let's utilize that as a reference figure. Might have to make it a real figure later, but that's okay. Um, let's use that as well. Maintain association. And then we need a... A reference line there and like that. That is 15 degrees. That is 2.875. No, 2.875. Cool. And then this is 4.25. But I also want to add that extra bit, 4.25 plus 1.625 minus 0.25. Yeah, because that's actually a center point, not shit. That is where it needs to start, but it needs to start like down here somewhere. Like... If I do a ref reference line and I horizontal it to that and I um, right angle there. Okay. So that's that. It needs to start like somewhere along here. I think that's where it's talking about the line here needs to be 0.7. 0.875 and that point there okay hopefully hopefully that's right and then I need a line here that's parallel cool and then I need a line there that that keeps going and this needs to be on that. Okay, that's still parallel. And then what is the size of that? That's 1.25 all the way across. Uh, 1.25. This is going to take me ages. I super apologize, everybody. Why does that not, why does that seem too big? Um, I need parallel, uh, that and that. Okay, that seems too big, but I guess we're gonna roll with it. I, I guess this width seems way too big. Oh, that's not completed, I'm sorry. Uh, edit, line, that, that. Uh, now we need to be playing extrude, and it's going to be 0.2375. Oh, sorry. 2.375. Uh, mid plane. There's that whole shape. 
And now I can shell that, that, that. And it's going to have a thickness of 0.25. Um, hang on. Faces to remove that one and that one and that one and that one and that I don't know why like this is staying I want to just like completely it's the diagonal bit I think that's having a problem here so we're gonna instead just do again I don't know why it's having an issue we'll roll with it and we'll do a sketch um, a center rectangle there no that's not what I wanted to do. I want to sketch on that and use the okay. And then I want um use that and shift E the other way. There we go. Now that whole thing is removed and now we have that bit probably wrong but we're doing our Jimmy best um, while I'm at it we're at 15 minutes already this is again this is a bit of a advanced one for me gang we I'm gonna need to make a new um, plane that is offset um, 1.25 doesn't really matter which direction circular sketch there is that the center of that uh, distance is 1.25 why does that why is that bigger oh that distance no 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 no, no. that distance 1.25 there we go now 1.25. Cool. Okay. Now extrude. Okay. And now... Now we need to re uh, mirror that feature along that plane. We got that. Use. Well, we're over 20 minutes, guys. I'm, I'm slowly chugging along. Okay. Okay. We've got everything except for except for the center bit that goes here i don't really know how to even go about doing that we're gonna figure it out i feel like i don't have enough information on how that shape is formed Because there's clearly an angle that it gets bigger as it goes. The starting like size at the base is 1.5, but that's from the top down. I guess it wouldn't matter. I don't think. Um, doesn't show how all it should be at that point or the bottom point that I can see it shows the it shows the radius of the top part it shows the diameter of the hole it so here's my problem here right is that this is very clearly this here is very clearly a diagonal bit right I can't undo that <laughs> good good um, um, very clearly a diagonal bit I don't know how tall this bit is or this bit from what I can see 
Like, even though I have uh, a distance from... Jeez, it's so hard to find your cursor with the pen tool. Even though I know this distance, it doesn't tell me how long this line needs to be. It doesn't tell me how long this line needs to be. And I can't find that anywhere. It's just tangent down from that that this it's just at least it looks tangent it doesn't say it's tangent this bit it just looks like these go down tangent but I don't have any info I guess that follows that line if it is r.5 then it, a radius of 0.5 then it would be okay I think I've figured out what it wants me to do. I can't find my damn cursor. That pen is off. Okay. So what it wants me to do is follow up that 0.5 line. I might have to do another mid-plane extrude, I guess. So that's our 0.5. So it's 0.5 inches. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make it a rectangle. Right. And then we're going to... But I almost can't, because the shape needs to be a drafted shape. But on an angle, how do I do this? I need to... Oh. What am I doing? Okay. Oopsie. Oopsie. Let's deactivate that. I need to make a plane off of that that is... Um... 1.625. There. Okay. So now I can draw on this plane. That doesn't really, that does help me, but it doesn't because I don't, I still don't have that reference line that I would need. So I need to draw on this plane to do a shape. It's got to be a loft. I don't really know how else I would do it. I'm stuck, guys. Uh, I could always... Okay, hang on. If I'm on this plane, and I'm doing an arc, I'm normal to that, and I use both of them as reference figures, I now have the info I need to make the arc that I need to make, and then that is point five. Okay, and these are vertical, one another, and then I basically need the intersection point of this plane, I guess that would be that, would that work? No. That's like way too... I need the point where the plane intersects with that face. Um, or no, I do I? I don't know. Basically, they need to go down and touch that face. I don't know how far that is. Or how to figure that out. Um, is it, if I just use that, will it work? Maybe. Also, I don't, uh, they are meant to be, uh, 1.5 apart. Vertical, those two. And then finally, I think if I coincident them on that, that it might 
be good. No, that is very clearly floating. I don't know how to get it so they're touching this. Because I... I don't know how to get it where they're touching that. It needs to be lower. I don't know how to get that lower. I don't know where that intersects or how to figure that out. Um, that didn't really help me. I was hoping that like... I am beyond stuck, guys. I'm running out of ideas. I don't know how to... Um, might just consider this one a failure, guys. I'm at 35 minutes, and I have no idea how to continue going about doing this. I have no idea how to make these sit on this surface. No idea. I feel like I got close to what I needed to do, but because I don't have a height of that line or that whole thing, and I don't have like, we're at 35 minutes even. See if I can think of anything else right quick. I guess I could do it we can try doing it the other way. Like, we'll leave that plane there because I might need it. We will do um, an arc on that as a plane. And we'll use each of them as reference figures again because the center of them is the line, that 15 degree super important line that I super, super need. Use that as well as a reference figure. I need to know how wide. Where's my cursor? There we go. So. I don't know how to get this laying on that surface. If I project this line, it's going to be too high up because of that angle. Project this line, it's going to be too low because of that angle. It's not halfway in between. It looks halfway in between, I guess. But there's no way to really know for sure. I guess there probably is. But... Stuff, guys. I don't know what to do here because I don't have a distance. We're at 45 minutes, and again, I don't have a. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have enough info. I'm saying it now. I personally don't have enough info to make this work. So, in case it wasn't abundantly clear, where is my mouse? There it is. Of course. Uh, I don't know what angle this is supposed to be. How like how far out it needs to be, which I wouldn't need. Right? I wouldn't necessarily need if I knew 
how far apart these were supposed to be. But I, I don't know that information. Now I know how far apart this is supposed to be, this bit here, because of this. But I, and I know that's how big it's supposed to be when it touches the base. In a Libre, I don't know how to make sure it touches the base of the, can I, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I, can I just do a coincident constraint with that to that surface? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, that was my last, that was my last thought. Oh, section view. I could do a section view of, um, how do I, how do I do that again? How do I do section views again? Where are they? Um, it's not under view, apparently. Inspect. Um, I have to finish the sketch. Inspect. Yes. E. I want the YZ section view. And I want it there. Can I? Hang on. Precise section. I want. Actually, I want that. Yeah. Yeah. And then edit. And then I need. Oh, I wish that was a different color. I want to use that reference figure and then that is not coincident that, that I can't can't do anything with it though I don't think can I um, inspect can I deactivate the section view now hang on Model, um, don't view that, but then edit there, and then I lose okay. Hang on, do that and lock that. Screen exists. Okay, that's fine. Vertical, that, and that. There we go. Okay, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Right there. That's the biggest thing that I needed so far. Now I need to make the through hole, which is 0.5. Okay, that's the biggest thing I needed. I am gonna assume that whatever this angle is, is the same. It is gonna be the same. 28.55, Jesus Christ. Actually, actually I don't need that other distance. This is fine. I can turn that off. I can view this sketch. We might need to remove that hole. Oh, I do actually need to... I need to remove th that line. And I need to coincident remove those planes that to that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
that actually doesn't help me like I thought it would because I still don't know how far apart these are supposed to be probably the same angle I don't know what's that angle I need to go back to this sketch edit 28.556 that distance because it's a2 okay thank you I think that fixed my problem and then finally um, I think that covers me for God's sake let's delete that circle because I think it's going to cause issues when I try to loft this. And if I try to loft this and it breaks, I'm going to be, I'm going to like cry. Okay. It likes it. Cool. And then f finally, reference figure, circle. Um, point five. Uh, concentric. Why is it not letting me do concentric with that? With that guy. Hey, okay, fine. We'll do a circle there. And use that. Maintain association. Circle. Like five. And then... Concentric. That. And... Why doesn't it let me do concentric with that arc? Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We need that distance and that distance. We point. Okay. Finally shifty. And then two geometry that for God's sake, if 57 and I'm not done. Okay. 2.469 pounds is my answer. An hour. If that's not right, what did I just say? 2.4691 2. 2.4691 2.47 Let's see. If it's not 2.47 then I'm going to be I'm going to like cry. Well, I'm missing a lot. It's not 2.47, and I don't know what I missed. I, it feels right. Well, finally felt like I got it, and I failed. That sucked. I feel like that angle is bigger on that end, and I just don't have a size. I feel like th this angle here. But I don't know. It looks the same. But I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I guess I'll troubleshoot it. Fuck it. How big are those holes that go all the way through? 0. 0.75? Is that my problem? Nope. 0.75. Okay. Um. Oh, it's like cut down. You see that? How did that happen? Is it this? Ex is it this extrusion? It's the shell. It's the shell command that screwed me over. It. Uh, 
How else can I fix this problem? I can make a new sketch there and I can use all of that. And I, oh, come on, use that. And it's 0.25 all the way around. So if I just do that and I measure that 0.25 and I measure that and two five um and then i extrude that do next reverse no i to geometry that that would work let's see if that works does it break everything Actually, actually, no, kind of. What's wrong with this plane? I don't even know what I moved it off of from before. Oh, is that? <laughs> Shit. Oh, I think this plane off of there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this whole sketch, which one is this? Sketch, um, six, sketch six broke. Um, okay, so sketch six is done. So we're going to activate a sketch there, and we're going to use that and that reference figures maintain association. We're going to use that too, and. We need um, that um, and then we need that to be 0.5 and then a line there and a line there. We need tangency there and there and we need um, that angle be a two, and then that line there. Okay, I think done. We can do our loft, loft, that and that. Okay, and then of course. Okay. 6 2, I think that's right. Thank you. Dear God. That's close enough. 2.62 plus or minus 0.01. That's. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know where the additional problem lies, and I don't care. For an hour and four, hour and four minutes and seven seconds. That was dumb. That took me way too long, and a model like that is horrible, and I don't like it. I think the other tenth of a tenth or hundredth of a pound came from the fact that that broke too. But I'm not redoing that sketch. I'm considering that a win. Hour and five minutes. That was awful. Thank you guys anyway. Like, subscribe, comment. All that crap. I'll see you next time. Next weekend. Bye.